Sweden and Russia are both influential nations with very powerful militaries. And in this episode of FTD Facts, we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the military power of Sweden and Russia. How's it going, everyone? My name is Leroy Kenton. And uh, before you continue, hit that like button on this video, guys. Give a big thumbs up. Let's see how many likes this video can get. As well as if you are new here to FTD Facts and you love to learn about the different countries and cultures all around the world, I highly recommend hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification yeah you don't want to miss any of these videos i'm not just saying that because it's my channel <laughs> yeah anyways let's get started and the country i want to start this episode off with is sweden the swedish armed forces is an authority in sweden which is responsible for defending the country as well as support peacekeeping operations and provide humanitarian assistance as well as protect sweden's national interests the military manpower in Sweden is 4,065,000 people, but the active personnel in their military is 21,875, and they have 22,000 people as reserve personnel. For Russia, they have the armed forces of Russia, and that's the military service of the Russian Federation. This military service was established after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The Russian military had gone through years of neglect after the Soviet Union collapsed, but today, Russia has the second most powerful military in the entire world. And as a matter of fact, it's now reported that they estimate that Russia has more nuclear warheads than the United States of America. In terms of Russia's military, their available manpower is 70 million people. Its active personnel sits at 798,525 people. And the reserve personnel total is at 2,572,500 people. Now in comparing the army strength of these two countries, Russia for sure really outnumbers Sweden. In Sweden's army, they have only 120 combat tanks and 2,470 armored fighting vehicles. But in Russia's army, Russia has 20,216 combat tanks, 31,298 armored fighting vehicles, 3,793 rocket projectors, 4,625 towed artillery, and self-propelled artillery sit at 5,972. Now let's take it from the land all the way up into the air. Sweden has 72 fighter aircrafts, 74 attack aircrafts, 53 transport aircrafts. They have a total of 66 trainer aircrafts. Total helicopters are at 49, but they have no attack helicopters. In Russia's Air Force, they have 806 fighter aircrafts, 1,438 attack aircrafts, 11,024 transport aircrafts, and they have 387 trainer aircrafts. The total helicopters here are at 1,389, and they have a total of 490 attack helicopters. Now moving on into the Navy, so Sweden's Navy has only 63 total naval assets. They have 9 corvettes, 5 submarines, 14 patrol crafts, and 8 mine warfare vessels. The total naval assets for Russia sit at 352. They have 28 patrol aircrafts, 1 aircraft carrier, 6 frigates, 15 destroyers, 81 corvettes, 63 submarines, and their mine warfare vessels total at 46. Now next I want to compare the logistics and the defense budget of these two countries. The Swedish labor force sits at 5,277,000 people. Their merchant marine strength is 135. Sweden has 9 major ports and terminals and 231 serviceable airports. And the budget that funds Sweden's military sits at 6,215,000,000 US dollars. Now in the year 2010, military conscription in Sweden was suspended. This was due to the recent increase of Russia's activities in the Baltic region and unsuccessful efforts to fill the ranks. Sweden is set to reintroduce conscription for men and women starting January of 2018. Now when we look at Russia's logistics, their labor force is way higher, sitting at a total of 77,410,000 people. Their merchant marine strength is at 1,143. Russia has 7 major ports and terminals and 1,218 serviceable airports. Their defense budget is a massive $44,600,000,000. And that, guys, was your side-by-side -side comparison of the military power of Sweden and Russia. Obviously, Russia is constantly building up their military. Sweden's a bit lacking there, but Sweden's influence in the world is a lot more on a positive note than Russia. 
So guys, I also want to know all your thoughts and comments. Leave them down below. Follow me on social media. Those links are below as well. And of course, you got to check out our Which Country is Better episode where we compare Sweden and Russia in terms of their overall country. That's an exciting one. That's going to be at the end of this episode or you can look out for one of the cards. Thank you guys so much for being awesome and I'll see you real soon. Okay, so that was a pretty epic video. Now, if you want to check out more about these countries, here's a video I highly recommend where you can learn more about Russia as well as Sweden. We also have other amazing videos here on FTD Facts where you learn all about the different countries and cultures of this world. That's it for me, guys, and I'll see you real soon.